And we're back, having murdered eight maxes with one blow. Meeting an annoying eel guy. And getting a dragon god skull, which by this point is completely useless. <laughs> like crazy. Got far more than I need at this point. We're not on the wrong path, are we? Lilica, it's like a straight line. It pretty much. Are you ready? Oh, something that Lilica says is that she says that Drupus is some sort of a lizard thing. Not quite sure if I can believe her, but apparently he's not quite so much the amphibian or sea creature that he looks. I mean, it's, we have shark people and fish people. It makes that sense that we can have sin. eel people too. So hard to say. The number of beasts keeps increasing. They're not really beasts. They're robots Man, and like where should we goo go? things. Yeah, I, I really can't explain the goo things. Here they come. I don't want to jump across that moving platform to get them. So. And the janitorial service also trying to kill us for some reason. Yeah. Well, they'll do that. What the heck is going on? Oh, and the way to get forward is another key card, and it's kind of mean that they, uh... Huh. Conduct to people through doors. It's kind of mean because they place it in the center of the room, and it's like the first and only chest that's in the center of one of the areas instead of along the edges. Hmm. I'll take you on. Ah, types J and K. <laughs> they look like Transformers, what the hell? Well, they do like <laughs> flying along like that. <laughs> and the big difference between J and K is that K has the, um, the shield guard. The kind that you have to break through in order to murder them. And that's, that's it. Those guys were no challenge at all. They do drop tri charges, which is pretty nice. That is very nice. Oh, good. Uh, see, this is my oh, second is time place. up here. You didn't have to sit around and wait for the platforms the first time, but uh, this time the game has decided to take pity on me and have the platform near where I'm going almost right away. Man, that's where should we very go? considerate of it. Unfortunately, the other platform is currently moving away from the uh, platform that I need to get to eventually. Joy. You saw the question mark there. On the plus side, there is this chest here, but on the minus side, to get this chest takes just long enough that the platform will be too far away for me to get back to it. Oh, goody! We must try our best. Like so. <laughs> Uh, and it's just a bit too far of a jump to get back onto the, uh, the ship itself. So, of course. So, yes, be very thankful that I cut that part out right there. Because that was a lot of very pointless waiting. And now we use the second factory key. And the final corridor has been breached. Lots of deactivated robots here. We'll be coming across Jupus soon enough. Luckily, they're all just parts of the background. Oh, I was about to say, let me guess, we're gonna fight all of them, aren't we? How big is this place? In effect, yes. In practice, no. So, I've still got a lot of weapons left to, uh upgrade before I finish this thing, so I figure, you know, from now on I'm just going to kill everything before I reach the boss instead of after. You don't mind, right? No. No, not at all. Oh, good. Hey, we get that ch er, that treasure chest! Eleven more ranks. We get eleven more ranks. Just over Crown Mutar. Perfect elixir. Yeah. 
cures everybody of everything. Nice. Oh man, Steve! Your arms got badass! How big is this? Yeah. And they're not even the best ones he can use yet. And there's the real Jupus. Huh? Oh, you're here already? We've got you cornered, Jupus Tukey. You can't what a ridiculous us. fucking name. God damn. <laughs> Awfully persistent, Only we cornered him in the Tron booth. No sweat, though. I might just have a little trump card here. Here's Johnny! Shut up. <sighs> just, no. Little, he says. But at least this going to be slightly more effective than eight maxes. It is. Wow. It's also a bit more... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> He's so happy to see us. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> the J stands for Johnny. It's showtime! Shut up! got a tractor eye beam I won't go easy on you we're talking a million volts of pure power here we go Johnny oh god so actually Johnny here is the most difficult boss battle we have ever encountered Whoa! Shit's flying everywhere! You may notice here that the other characters are doing absolutely no damage against him. He's got a barrier. Oh, joy! And there is no way to breach this barrier. Here I come. So yeah, just turning on protection 2 here is really the only good option at the moment. Everything else would be a waste of, uh... AP, I guess. And he can fire his fist fists at you. Mr. Rose! He flies around on rocket jets. Actually, he's a pretty this boss never robot. Gonna work. Uh, yeah, he's pretty hard looking. <laughs> like Shut up! It's my land if only they could do something about that voice. Using time, space, energy. Your feeble girly man attacks have absolutely no effect on it. Damn. Jaster! Oh, hey, there you are. Dr. Picaccio? How the hell did you get in here? What? Oh my goodness, he's here with the uh, MacGuffin that we need to, in order to get rid of that Your barrier, isn't he? into space-time energy has come a long way. But the time has come for you to step back. But that can't be! It is. Excellent! It worked! Jaster! Have another gimmicky gun! <laughs> because you can never have too many! There you go! <laughs> Use it just like I showed you! I don't know, I think they got... I think they got as ridiculous as they come when the first one was like a gun that can create platforms. So. And now we have the barrier break shot, so. We'll be encountering plenty of barrier enemies in the future. Yep, just a quick tutorial just explaining that this is going to be a recurring thing in the future. Joy! Better get used to it now. Barrier break. Don't really need it at the moment, because, you know, Picaccio broke it for us. Right. But now it's time to power up. Blast Arrow, Illusion Sword level 2 now. <laughs> Ooh, nice! There are only two levels, by the way. Oh! Whoa! Got to look at his guts! Yeah, and that's a personal buff. You can see he's glowing yellow. And that's oh. the power of Illusion Sword level 2. Okay! 
<laughs> that was fast! Yeah, but it only took him down to half health. <laughs> so you know we're not quite done yet. Yeah, but I don't see it lasting much longer. We did it! Let's finish this, Jaster! Oh, you are so naive! I still have Shut a up. piece up my sleeve! Johnny! Switch into Super Deluxe Mode! And now he's red. I'm slightly angrier to see you! And he's got the angry eyes. My fury for the Big Bang! I'll take care of this once and for all! So now we've got a second form here. That's it, lizard. I'm gonna... And it did take off our buffs, unfortunately. Aww. So we'll just have to put them back up. <laughs> Whoops. Oh yeah, now he can do that with his arms there. <clears throat> you guys are on fire. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> I don't know, it looks pretty powerful there. Yeah. Safety lock disabled. And he just keeps on going. Wow. And I forgot I still have the damn barrier break thing on. That's why I wasn't doing any damage. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, now he's doing the damn thing again. How pitiful. And it's pretty much impossible to hit him while he's doing it. Of course, Steve doesn't block. Not like it really helps. No. Now my action gauge is down when he's finally standing still. Okay, now I'm going to murder him. <laughs> yup. There. Done. <laughs> Got a space compressor and a Mobius battery. Gotta wonder how that works. Yeah. You certainly didn't make it easy for us. I'm sure you'll understand if you let me explain. No, kill him. Kill him. Oh kill god, him. he's got it's exposition. A late for that. <laughs> Come on, just hear what I have to say. No, it's a hard don't. story to tell and a hard one to hear. Not you really. You think I'm so pitiful? <laughs> Fine. Out with it. Ah, don't rush me. What was that sound? <laughs> or did before I was fired. I was the lead researcher on time space energy. Know anything about that? It's a theory about an unlimited energy source that can Here, let me explain before you can answer. Problems. For us researchers, it's like a never ending romance. I was one step closer to a breakthrough. It's flashback and he still hasn't shut up. Good morning. Oh, so, Jupus, you've been up all night working too? Yeah, you too? Oh, we'll need a full week of sleep to make up for all of this. Ugh. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just happy to have this opportunity to work with the chief. Huh? Jupus, is this what I think it is? Mm, pretty soon. It's a little red string shot. Soon. It's a little red gif of squiggly lines. What? And it'll be complete. Mm. It's the horizontal so matrix. Almost finished. The truths of the universe are about to be laid bare. Uh. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> With this data. Becoming the ruler of the universe is no longer just a dream. Coffee. Right. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, he blew up the computers with coffee. <laughs> what? I don't think this is how coffee works, guys. And all of my data was destroyed. That's when Datron fired me. I see. So it was your assistant, Tony, who caused the accident. 
And now you're trying to get them to hire you back? No, not at all! This is revenge! That accident was all part of Datron's plan. They wanted that data all to themselves. They got Tony to play his role in bringing me down. You've got to believe me! Then why did they destroy the data in order to get it for themselves? I say we choose not to believe him and the then desert claw, kill him. I still can't believe you caught Jupus this quickly. Well, apparently there's no need oh, for that, because... Right, Jupus Tukey McConnell. You're coming with us. Cavalry's arrived. Datron inquest to attend. Oh, so now you're going to take me to court, huh? Forget it! I'm not standing for any fake trial! If you come clean now, we can lighten your punishment. No way! You want the death penalty, and I don't want to die! All sure, I wanted to the death do penalty is as hard as it research. gets. So, this means... I guess I have no choice! Smoke bomb. On top of it all, he's a damn ninja! I can't see! What the fuck? <sighs> that rat! Well, to be fair, it's, uh... Over there! It's a very effective smoke bomb. Oh, yeah. Unlike the Batman. And it's not like the stormtroopers could shoot him at this range anyway. Adios, amigos! <laughs> you know, point-blank range. Yeah. That guy is unbelievable. He has nowhere to run. I've dispatched soldiers to all likely locations. It's only a matter of time before we get him. Phew. So that's that, then. Dr. Picacho, if you wouldn't mind, could you please restart the mainframe for us? Of course. Please, come to my office. I thought this was the mainframe room, though. Uh, yeah. Y you can't restore it from here. That you have makes... to go to your private terminal in order to do it. I think his private terminal is just uh, should be fine locked now. into his nose, so it seems it's that just has easier that way. His pride as a scientist, after all. The mainframe computer hasn't been harmed one bit. I see. That's excellent news, Doctor. We owe it all to you, Desert Claw. Oh, sure. right. People still call me that. Now, about that reward. Right. Let's see. How would you feel if I gave you this Picacho factory? Huh? What? You mean you're going to use my factory again? What's going on, Star? Question is, how does he have the authority? Now, authority to do this? I think it's time to forget about the past and return to your work. Don't you agree? <sighs> yeah, forget about well, your dead son. He's dead. With Doesn't a matter. Like this, he'd be able to produce all kinds of items. Well, on Could the plus side, than some lousy reward money. What do you say, Mr. Rogue? He does have All a point. Right. We'll take the factory. Yeah. You can't exactly grind out factories. So you really want to use my factory? I see. Then I'll bring it back up to speed as soon as possible, so that you will be able to utilize it. It's a deal, Dr. Picacho. I'm so happy. Dancing time. <laughs> Steve. You seem to be doing very well, Steve. You have good friends by your side. We're back into the sappy backstory. I'm relieved to know you're doing so well. By the way, can I ask you a small favor? Would you mind contacting me once in a while to tell me about the things you see and do? I figure I'll just tell you now, but uh, Steve's sappy backstory is my personal well, favorite sappy backstory. <laughs> oh, well, it's nothing Although, really. we it's don't know a... why quite I yet. I, I've been pretty lonely lately. Is that all? All right. I'll definitely keep in touch with you and tell you all about our adventures then. Oh, really? I How think excellent. I have a guess, but I'll wait I'm until so we're glad. the episode's done Thank to you, Steve. tell you what I think it's it is. no trouble at all. All right. Well, then, it's time for you to go, until we meet again. Yes, Doctor. Thank you for waiting. We sure took the long way around, but the Galaxy Corporation should be back online now. Let's go see. So, now we have unlocked the final menu item. The Factory. 
magical smelter. Yeah, they hand us the very first uh, item to create in the factory. And it's actually an item for the factory. One of the legendary seven star swords can be made. Yeah. Basically, the way the star swords work is that you have to do well in one specific area of the, uh... Well, one specific, uh, type of minigame. Uh... And just like with the Insectron Stadium, I figure I can at least show the first blueprint for the factory. I mean, especially because they literally hand you the items thanks to that boss fight, the ones that you need to create this particular item. Right, because they want you to use it right away to get you used to it. Yeah, test it out, see how it works. So you can place items and move items and remove them and set the material in those material spots there. So source, source tables and the completion table. That's over there. Power quartz. You're going to need to plug in every single item here in order to make it work. Hmm. And you can see it's got a place to plug it in there on the side. And most of the items have a plug on both sides to make it a little helpful. Now the tubing itself does not need any plugs. Oh, that's good. You can see they all turned on as soon as something adjacent to it was plugged in. And so this is the basic format right here. But of course you can't use unprocessed items in the builder. So you need these other items. The smelter, form press, and cooler are used on metals. Washers used on circuits, grinders used on stones, the disassemblers for mechanical parts, and the assembler here, the assembler 2, takes two items and combines them into the final product. Alright. So we've got one circuit and one mecha mechanism here. So I'll place the circuit. It seems very complicated. <laughs> I'll place the circuit on one thing. Well, there's a manual you can check. Okay. I'm too manly for a manual, though. So we're just doing this by the seat of my pants. Alright, that's that. So now we've got to place the items, or the machines, for each of the two items. A circuit washer for the circuit. And a disassembler for the mechanism. all got interesting shapes compared to each other. Right. And we'll just uh, take out the pieces we don't need here. So you can move these into place. Now let's plug in the last two pieces. Just grab some cords from the power packs at the side of all the machines here. Now you'll note that the washer has a power cord on only one side. So you need to put it under the... Things. Yeah. I could have turned it around because those two items don't have a front and a back. Only a couple of the uh, machine parts All do. Right. And now that that's done, let's see this in motion. Looks like they hit the assembler at different times. Oh no. And that's a problem. Failure. Failure. Now, fortunately, the items themselves are not used up in failed productions. Oh, that's good. So 
So, all I need to do is take this one spare piece, put it on the line, and uh, as soon as I take this power cord back, and bring it over where it needs to be, we'll be in business. Alright. Alright, let's try it again. Let's give it another shot. see that it counts out the exact timing of the items too. Oh, that's good. Just in case you were wondering. And it works! Huzzah! And we've created the Athanor. Magical smelter. Yes. It's the machine part used to de disassemble alchemy, piece uh, alchemy pieces. Now, if you want to see what the rest of the factory is like, what else you can do with it right now, I'm going to put out a side questing video. That's all about the factory. So if you're interested, you can watch that. If you're not interested, you can ignore it. But until then, we do still have one other thing we need to do. Still. Maybe this time it'll work. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh boy, we had to talk to her again. I wonder how that stupid lizard's doing right about now. Hi! Welcome to the Galaxy Corporation. They solved the problem with that terrorist, and the mainframe's back up and running. I'm ready to process your requests now. Oh really? This time for sure? This time for sure. I mean, come on, that is my job after all. Duh. Shut up! This is all we need. Please, can you issue us a new galactic travel visa now? Absolutely! What have you got? ZR-KJ1701, the Dorgan Arc. Looks like the category of this vessel is a free-sailing freighter. All right. And there we go. Now you're all set. That's Thank it. God! That's all it took? That's all it took. The cat's gonna yell at us for taking so long, isn't he? Do it fast and do it right. That's the motto of the Galaxy Corporation. We look forward to serving you again. Wait. I have two cards here. What's this? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's just a little present for me. Member number 78,500 is a bit high, but what can you do? <laughs> Joy! Huzzah! Well, aren't you lucky? I love his expression <laughs> here. <laughs> That's about my face right now. Why in the world do you think this will make up for anything? Anyway, that's as much as Mio's going to say. But hey, there's still that shop in the back. Oh, yeah! Maybe now we can finally use it. That was a lot of work. Whew. Yes, it was. It really was. Aha. Uh -huh. It works. And here is we where we can buy access to the bonus bosses, essentially. Oh, nice. The special hunts. Now, once we actually get to the place where we can hunt the monsters, I'll explain exactly what you need to do. But what you just saw is step number one, which is come here, buy access to them, and then those question marks will appear where the bosses will be, and you'll be able to activate the, uh, fu the uh, bonus stuff. But there is one additional coda, shall we say, to all of this that we're going to see before we end this. And this is technically act this is technically after the factory 
uh, side quest video. Huh? Mm. Oh, what the f- no. uh. I like it, I like it! Hey! Yeah. What are you doing here? Did the cat let him here? I bet the cat let him here. The most wanted list before long, right? My house is surrounded by soldiers. I have nowhere to hide. So, I decided to become a crew member here till things die down. Oh yeah, says who? Says me, that's who? Jupus is a vital part of the Dorganark team. I <laughs> I fucking <laughs> called it. <This> you great. <laughs> fucking killed so you. God damn it. This is so good. Although to be fair, he also bribed the daughter of the captain. So me as a friend. It'll be nice working with you. Ow! Hey, Thank you, Willica. Willica is already my favorite character. And Jupus has joined the group. No. Unfortunately. No. See you all next time. No.